Hi there! It's Raising Readers with Miss Joanne from the Metuchen Library. Let's start with a poem. It's called Read to Me by Jane Yolen. Read to me riddles, read to me rhymes, read me stories of magical times. Read to me tales about castles and kings. Read to me stories of fabulous things. Read to me pirates, read to me knights. Read to me dragons and dragon book fights. Read to me spaceships and cowboys. And then when you are finished, please read them again. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about how reading and writing go hand in hand. The more you read, the better you get at writing. And the more you write, the better you get at reading. All right, let's start with a story called Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? Written by Bill Martin Jr. Illustrated by Eric Carl. And this book is a front back book. So if you open it up, the picture goes all the way across the front and the back cover. I also sometimes like to take the jacket off the book to see if what's underneath is the same. And look at these beautiful end papers that we have here in this book. All of these interesting colors and paint designs by Eric Carl. Henry Holt and Company is the publisher. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Look at those beautiful colors on that red fox. There's some very nice action words in this book, like gliding. If you can think of a flying squirrel in the sky from going from tree to tree, they glide. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Look at the wingspan of that heron, wow. Prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Look at those big claws. Wow, prairie dogs must be good diggers. Striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. Uh-oh, I don't like snakes. Do you like snakes? Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting by me. Look, there's the rattle in its tail. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? I see 
A red fox. Can you read these along with me? A flying squirrel. A mountain goat. A blue heron. A prairie dog. A striped skunk. A mule deer. A rattlesnake. A screech owl. And my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. The end. Now, since reading and writing go so well together, that's a great book that you can enjoy reading. It's very predictable, and your child can read along with you since there's so many repeating parts to that book. And you can take the pattern and make your own version. You can use a whiteboard, an easel, or make your own version of the book. I picked a dolphin since I love dolphins. Dolphin, dolphin, what do you see? I see a seagull flying by me. So grown-ups can write a pattern and have two blanks. And your child can, if they're of the age where they're starting to write or if they're an independent writer, they can think of what animal which is a noun, and then a verb, an action word, to go with their animal. Now you've just connected your reading with your writing, which is a good practice to do, so both will improve. My second story is a funny one. I'll show you a different way that we can incorporate writing with reading with this book, Sheep in a Jeep. You see we have some rhyming words. Sheep, jeep, rhyming words end the same with the same sound. This book is by Nancy Shaw, illustrated by Margot Apple, and the publisher is Trumpet Club. Beep, beep. Can you say that? Beep, beep. Oh my goodness, look at that. Sheep driving a jeep. Sheep and a jeep. On a hill that's steep. A lot of rhyming words in this book. Uh-oh! Can you say that with me? Uh-oh! The Jeep won't go. I wonder what happened. Why is the Jeep stuck? Let's keep reading. Sheep leap to push the Jeep. Oh my goodness, they're all jumping out of the Jeep. Sheep, I'm sorry, sheep shove and sheep grunt. Sheep don't think to look up front. Wow, they're all working together to push that Jeep. Jeep goes splash. Jeep goes thud. Jeep goes deep in gooey mud. Oh no, look at that, look at that. Sheepy landed head first right in the mud, and there's a frog on the jeep, too. Oh, boy. Sheep tug. Are they going to be able to get that jeep out of the mud? What do you think? Sheep shrug. Were they able to get that jeep out of the mud? No, not yet. Sheep yelp. Sheep get help. Who do you think is going to come help the sheep? Maybe those two pigs. Let's find out. Jeep comes out. Sheep shout. Yay! Oh dear. The driver sheep forgets to steer. Uh-oh, that means he forgets to use that steering wheel to steer the Jeep. So I'm going to stop the book right there. This is a great opportunity to do some writing by making up your own ending. And if your child's too young to write, you can just share with words. What do you think the ending will be? 
all of the sheep are in the Jeep, but it says that the driver forgot to steer the car, which means the Jeep will probably go in the wrong direction. So you can always close a book right before the exciting part at the end, and you can write your own ending to the story. In this case, I'm guessing that the sheep will end up driving the car off the road and into a lake. Let's see what happens. Jeep in a heap, sheep weep. Oh no, the sheep are crying and what happened to the Jeep? went right into a tree. Sheep sweep the heap. It's time to clean up, sheep. Jeep for sale. Cheap. <laughs> Why do you think they're selling the Jeep and selling it for cheap? Right, because it fell apart. All right. And let's talk a minute about how beginning writers, when they don't know how to write a word, what do they do? They sound it out. So let's say you wanted to write the word sat. You would stretch the word out like a rubber band and write the sounds you hear in the word. And we as caregivers can help support our children in their journey towards phonetic spelling until they learn conventional spelling. So you might start with s if you're trying to write the word sat. You would stretch that word and say it out loud slowly and encourage your little one to write the sounds they hear in the word. S a and t and then put the sounds together to write the word sat. And likewise, if you were stuck on this word in a book, You'd get your mouth ready with the first sound, s, the second sound, a, and the third sound, t, and blend it together. Sat. Sat. If I put s, a, t on my body, I could blend the sounds together to read the word sat. Okay. Reading and writing go hand in hand, so it's very easy to incorporate writing activities in with some of your favorite reads. I hope you enjoyed Raising Readers today. See you next time. Bye-bye.